Thank you. I'm not sure what to. St I'm not sure what to do back. Uh, you can't do anything back. I just wanted to show you that. Show you that. Okay. Oh, is that new or is that old? No, just now. Okay. Um, uh, you can. I don't know if we should do that though. <laughs> but, but yeah, we, you can't. But we can't be intermediaries between any kind of communication with between the two. Right. But that's not communication to you. That's communication from her to Susie that she was showing me anyway, and so mm -hmm. it's irrelevant. But the point is, obviously, we, we can't and won't and don't facilitate any communication between the two of you guys. It's not worth the risk. No. But I do trust you to know how to do stuff smart and stuff. Absolutely. And yeah, and, and, Susie, and Susie. I trust you how to do stuff good and smart and talking stuff. And Susie, keep in mind, Susie is uh, a barrier between, first of all, my own, my own highly, much improved TE is... <laughs> is the, the driving force here is this goal-oriented how-to thinking I'm doing. But as a secondary level of protection, Susie, oh, I, I mean, she if I fuck up, she will kill me. I, I could just, <laughs> I, I feel like she'll stare me to death. Her eyes will kill me. She I, will. I, I That's know, what so, she'll fucking do. So I, I just, there's zero chance that I will do anything. I will make any missteps here. I promise you because I'm going through multiple levels of, uh, of triple quadruple checking, okay? Can I can I just take this moment to say those motherfuckers took all of my goddamn knives. That's insane. Why? I don't have a knife to clip to my fucking pocket because they were all in my safe that they had to drill apart. Did they take your kitchen knives? No, but I want a pocket knife to clip on my belt. Why would they take like, your pocket knives but not your kitchen knives? Here's the thing. Oh, yep. There, there's the inside of another safe. I don't see a knife in there, bitch. So you can smoke cigarettes. That's basically all you got, huh? Yeah, I can smoke cigarettes. They left my art. That was nice. Those fucking pricks. They just, they emptied the contents of the safe. They left me one chain because of what I was wearing. Is it gold? No, it's silver. Uh, that's too bad. I know. But what if I tell you about KT? Is that communication? Uh, I will, I will default to Eric's understanding. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, look. All, all I, I can tell you that I think we can say stuff like this, which is fine. That we've already talked to Katie before we're talking to you about, about just shit in general, and that she is being um, she is being guided in her own behavior. Susie and I are without without communicating, without being intermediary. We're looking out for her interests and your interests. Yeah, except so with, without she's one hand knowing what the other hand is doing. That's the key thing. Left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing, but the right hand is operating in the left hand's interest. That's okay. Right. Um, I understand that she's being guided by emotion. I understand that she loves me. I love her. That's really all that need. we don't need to. Right. Like, yeah. She. she, she oh, we don't. We, we're not trying. Nobody here is trying to involve Katie in the in the strategizing about things anyway. I don't think so. Um, that's fine. Uh. Katie's great. Uh, I feel okay. privileged to have been able to uh, to be part of those Result. conversations, you know? Anyway, enough about that. So, going forward, we're obviously we're going to be super careful, but um, if there comes a time when your lawyer can talk to me or wants to talk to me, I would like to know what he thinks about because obviously there's at least one component of that warrant that is about me and not about anything else and yet he it, and yet it's being used against you so I want to figure out to what extent like is that are they going to ever ask me to testify about this are they going to depose me or is there an arrest warrant out for my is there a warrant out for my arrest in Kansas you'll get to talk to him he's he like really he He's quite, quite anxious for me to come over to his house um, and stop 
being left up to my own device. I think that's probably a good thing. That means he cares about you. That's good. He seems like a good friend to have. I'm he, happy he, he's there. One of my best friends. That's great. So And not because he's been this guy sitting to you smoking in my dark basement with my chains and my recently out of jail look. I, I gotta say, it's it's swarthy and becoming. I like both of those words in respect to myself. Mostly the coming part. <laughs> well, it's probably probably feel a little bit of pent up uh, m- maleness in there that needs it's to be funny. released. I was telling Sue's. I was telling So here, they've got us. They put me in tank two. I was in tank two for the whole time. Well, for the first day, I wasn't booked in because they wouldn't tell me why they were trying to book me in. Uh, day two, I finally gave in because they said, "Okay, here you go. Here's possession with intent to distribute." So okay. So we're going to tank two, which is tank two. It's got no windows, eight fluorescent light bulbs that never go off, eight cots, one toilet in the middle of the room, one sink, one shower with one little drape, a picnic table that's bolted to the floor. Um, You don't get any yard time. You don't get any commissary. You get three meals a day that come on a tray. You get nothing extra. Um, we're allowed to get, I'm allowed to have socks and underwear. Aside from that, I get an orange jumpsuit. Basically, I, I'm in a tank for eight days. Well, that Not, sounds like a civil rights violation. Right, it is. It's illegal. Uh, it's also, wow. if you recall your anagram, if you recall your anagram, other people were not my concern. You mean you weren't nice? <laughs> I was defaulted to pretty quickly. I bet. Yeah. <coughs> I still feel I can still you're still radiating energy that makes me want to immediately defer. Well, so another thing I saw Sue's is one of the things that I learned quickly from a guy with a corner uh, bottom bunk, which I opted against. They offered me, you know, kind of my choice of bunk, and I chose a top middle bunk because they were in low demand. Um, because <laughs> they're right under the fluorescent light bulb. But the corner bottom bunks, in particular, they like to. Here's how you fall asleep: is you real quick crank one out, shoot shoot your wad in the corner, and then fall asleep on that wave of euphoria. Um, I did not fall asleep that way. I don't know where I was going with it. I had a better ending spot than there. I'm guessing it made you more rather than less temperamental. I actually wasn't all that temperamental. I mean, I certainly had the uh, fuck off ishness around me. Were you sleepy? I don't know. I slept all I could. I got my clonopin, luckily, because they're prescribed. So I'd have one for breakfast, sleep as much as possible, have one at dinner, sleep as much as possible. We did have a deck of cards. Were you hungry? Did they feed you enough food? Yeah, but it was all the same stuff. It was all uh, greasy carbs with a lot of pepper. Like pasta? Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. You can get some watered down juice for breakfast if you're up in. Did the were the guards impolite to you? No, the guards were polite enough. Were the inmates polite to each other? Mostly. We're in an eight man tank. We got to stay with each other all the time. There's no yard time or anything. So you try not to make unnecessary enemies. There was one guy there who's an INTP who's doing six and a half years. Um, And he's a sharp guy. He he figured out who and what I was and what I was charged with before I did, actually, by talking to his girlfriend on the outside. Why was he he in the tank, too? Why was he in the tank? Yeah. Did he get in trouble? Or was he transferring or something, or what? No, he's, he's... 
serving a sentence. In the tank? Yeah. He gets no yard time for at all for his whole sentence, or what? If they get crowded, they'll ship. They'll farm him out. They farmed out some people today, um, but he was not one of them. This sounds like yeah. a a pattern of constitutional rights abuses in this system that they have down there. That is further indicative of a number of violations. Uh, the water, water has been tested unfit to drink, but you drink it anyways. You get uh, visitation is allowed half an hour a day on Sundays with immediate family. Um, that's your wife, kid, mom, dad, brother, sister. Not 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 my lawyer, brother-in-law. Not my live-in girlfriend who could probably be a of my marriage. Um, none of that shit. I thought about calling down there and asking to talk to you. What would have happened if I had? They'd have taken your number and given it to me the next day. Well, what if I said, no, I want to talk to him right now? <laughs> Good luck. Huh. They, they don't transfer calls there. What you can do is you can set up, a, it's called, a, I don't know, phone a felon or some stupid shit like that. And um, you can call them and you can set up an account. Basically, it's a dollar a minute. To talk to somebody to talk. who's in jail? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking barbaric. <laughs> to profit yeah. over the ability of individuals to communicate with loved ones is obscene and inhuman. I know. I was there. Keep in mind, they're not seeking justice for anybody because they're not even accusing you of transgressing against a single soul. I did not have my, um, I, I didn't even have charges filed until 8.54 this morning. I was not formally charged with anything until 8.54 a.m. this morning. I'd been incarcerated for nine days. I mean, they can't possibly, none of these people can possibly survive. Their careers are over. They're, they're committing egregious Violations of constitutional rights that shock the conscience. It shocks the conscience, which means they could even be subject to to uh, civil liability because their their immunity is subject to a couple of restrictions. One of which is shocking the conscience. Imprisoning somebody without charges for nine days in direct and brazen disregard for constitutional uh, guarantees of due process and a speedy trial is um I mean it, it is the most unbelievably in either shockingly uh, mind-blowingly incompetent or or conscious criminal behavior under color of law these people need to be held to account and the morning so when i woke up like i said i woke up to being carried outside um, in my underwear that whole process i never did at what point at one point did i get the pants i had requested so they're holding me it's nine in the morning they're holding me in my front yard by my cuffs they're holding me in the air, asking for the combination to my to my safe, saying, we have a warrant, what's the code to your safe? They weren't showing me a warrant, they were showing me the back of a manila envelope that he wanted to write on. And I said, I want pants and shoes and a, and my lawyer. And that's when the, one, the guy talking to me shouted, he lawyered up, and the other one grabs me. They and, didn't show you the warrant? No. They wouldn't let you read the warrant? No. I have a copy of it now. They came back again. They did That doesn't they did matter. Anything. They have a they have a legal obligation to distinguish themselves from thugs. If they are legitimately there and engaged in a warranted search, they must let you see the warrant and see that which has been warranted to be searched. In fact, they should not arrest you until after they find something. They arrested me when I said I wanted my my lawyer. I mean, it, there's no crime in that. Talk about uh, absolute disregard for basic the the rights underlying the Miranda rights that they so they say whether or not they say it's irrelevant the rights are there the rights are there for a reason and they're ab they're conscious and and brazen disregard of these things is is starting to look like a, a pattern that is I think any other reasonable decent law enforcement professional who wasn't involved in this railroading would agree is reason enough to arrest somebody somebody in that prosecutor's office needs to be arrested I was never Mirandized either. 
I mean, whether or not they say it's irrelevant, new constitutional rulings on that, especially somebody like you, they don't need to, you don't, they don't need to say it to you. But they do need to respect your Miranda rights. When you ask for a lawyer, that is not a reason to arrest you when they haven't even shown you the search warrant and haven't even found anything to hold you under arrest for. They have no business right. cuffing you when they're executing a search warrant. They Did they have an arrest warrant or a search warrant? There are two different kinds had, of warrants, for God's they sake. Had, they had a search warrant, and they claimed to arrest me on probable cause. Anything that they wanted, everything in the charges was found inside my safe that they saw it open later. Oh, my God. I mean. I just lost sound to Eric. I think you pulled the cord out or something. You might need to refresh. Can you hear him? No. I can't hear him either. Refresh, Eric. There's absolutely no way that a shred of this shit can stand in court. There's no way. First of all, they have no business arresting you if they're executing a search warrant before they search the premises. If they wanted to arrest you, they needed to have an arrest warrant. That's why there are two different kinds of warrants. If they had caught you in the act of committing a crime, that is a circumstance on which you can arrest somebody on the spot. Otherwise, you need an arrest warrant, for God's sake. And they didn't have an arrest warrant, they had a search warrant. And then they executed the search after they arrested you? That's yes. called assuming you're going to find what you're there to search for. They executed the search warrant by sawing open my $1,000 safe. And then sawing open my $100 safe. And then sawing open my $100 safe. But none of which were on the search warrant, were they? Um, on the original this, one? I haven't looked at the original one. I've just gotten home. Uh, the original one is looking for narcotics. Okay, so, but, okay, so if it's not listed on the original search warrant, they then left the house unlocked for a period of 24 hours, ignoring chain of evidence entirely, came back after the house had been unattended for 24 hours, and claimed that they, the chain of evidence was still intact. Of course, it's not intact because they left the house unattended for 24 hours and unlocked. The, uh, the shit from the second one that they did bring up some charges because I had papers from my old job, um, which they sawed out of the safe and then left around, um, but claiming that I had taken privilege information, that's been gone. That, that's already gone. So, but yeah. after criminally getting access to your information that wasn't listed on the things that they were searching for, they tried to use that against you just because they felt like it? Yep. And because they were upset that they didn't have more. They expected more. Well, you know what? They're getting a lot more now. They're getting a lot more because I'm coming after these fuckers. I will respect your wishes, of course, Taylor, and do nothing until you give me a little bit of a nod or let me talk to a lawyer or something. But believe me, I'm coming after these fuckers. They are criminals and they need to be held to account. This Is it true that this is this woman's first major case uh, as county attorney? This is what? This is this woman's first major case as county attorney. Is that true? Actually, it's, it's yeah, kind of. How'd you know that? Uh, I, yeah, a little bird told me. Now, is it also true that this woman was your ex-wife's divorce attorney? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. And she didn't recuse herself from this process. Despite the fact that the appearance of impropriety is massive and obvious to even the slowest of individuals with the least legal training in the world, okay? Despite the fact that that conflict of interest in terms of an appearance of conflict of interest is enough to, to compel an individual in that position to recuse themselves. She has a legal obligation. Kansas is going to disbar her in half a fucking second. She, there's no way that woman's legal credentials will, sustain, will withstand this. She, she's committed a nightmarish clusterfuck of failure that is indicative of incompetence, the scope of which is, even any decent law enforcement professor will recognize in a heartbeat. <laughs> it sounds like it to me, but what do I know? I just got out of the tank for 10 days. Well, I didn't, and I've been thinking about this shit. 
And this woman is a reprobate of the lowest order. Her absolute, complete moral bankruptcy, her willingness to abuse people who are completely innocent in order to get after somebody who's transgressed upon against no one, it makes her the most loathsome sort of scumbag. This woman must be hated by any decent human being near her. I can't even imagine how she looks at herself in the mirror. She must be a fucking sociopath. At any rate, her criminality ends today. What more do you want to know? I want to, I want a green light to go We're ahead and make a video guys. out of this fucking little, this rant and the last rant, but because these are the the core and coaching points that need to be addressed here. As a, as a there needs to be built a narrative of massive scope and scale that articulates every single thing that this woman's incompetence has wreaked, the harms that she has already wreaked upon human beings for no reason whatsoever. Now. If, no, if, you see if, if, that, if, and if she wants to convict somebody of fucking pretend hunting a goose, she should come to California and arrest me. God, I missed you, fucks. <laughs> I missed you too, Taylor. And listen, you're, there's no way in hell you're going to be spending any more days behind prison walls. That's ridiculous because they have nothing and it's all illegally gotten the scoundrels thanks for watching talking about famous people when Taylor gives me the green light this video is going up there and I'm beginning my assault on this fucking evil that is infesting the fine community of Pratt Kansas I have anti-evil juice and I'm gonna spray it all over her.